Thanks, Pat. <laughs> Pattern? Oh, Logan, I think we finally made a breakthrough with Remus. He came and asked me about the moral implications of an experiment he wanted to do. I would like for you to expand upon exactly what we discussed. Well, first he came and asked me about the implications of obtaining piranha solution. Oh, Newton. No, 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 I checked. Piranha solution is not made from dissolving piranhas in a liquid until it reaches saturation point. Yes. Oh. And so, since no living animals are harmed in the production of the piranha solution, I am deemed it morally and ethically A-OK. -okay. Normally that would be completely correct. However, it grieves me to inform you that Remus has been looking for an excuse to experiment with piranha solution. Namely, what would happen if you added a piranha to piranha solution? And what would happen if you put a piranha into piranha solution? Chemically, since a solution is a term for a liquid that has been saturated in a particular substance, nothing should occur if you add more of that substance. For example, if you were to add more salt to a salt solution, since the solution is already saturated with salt, additional salt would have no impact. So the piranha would be fine then? However, piranha solution, as you've correctly ascertained, does not involve piranhas in its production. Piranha solution is a term for a highly corrosive liquid made of sulfuric acid and hydrogen peroxide. It is an immediate effect on anything organic, decomposing it at a very rapid rate. The piranha would not be fine. Oh, I do not think I gave out good moral advice. You gave an adequate and accurate answer to the question asked of you. You cannot be held accountable for the moral ramifications of what Remus did next. Thank you, kiddo. That actually makes me feel a whole lot better. Hmm. Now, I'm going to go find Remus and remind him to use metal tongs in this experiment and not his fingers. <laughs>